turned out today uh, this is a 1754 hunt deck but the hunt deck if you walk around to get some perspective here is 36 inches long and what that's done is that's allowed us to put a hard-sided blind on this boat for this guy and also give him enough room to stand back here and drive the motor without the handle hitting the hard-sided blind and so he holds on here and drives here where you're elevated standing on a a little bit taller hunt deck than we normally do. Walk around the back and out, you can see that. This hunt deck is a little bit taller here to compensate for the weight and the driver always being on the hunt deck in the back. Your feet will stay completely dry, no problem. Um, grab bar right here, GPS mounted right there, and you're elevated. You can see over the blind when you're driving. So it's a really a cool system. I have a similar system on my Marsh Series boat as well. Uh, but once you enter the blind here, You've got a roof that just comes on in and folds down. So it opens this boat up where you can walk back and forth in the boat, pick your decoys up while the boat's underway, do whatever you got to do without the roof coming out in the way. And when you are ready to hunt, you simply pull the roof out. Now, this gap right here that you see right here, you may say, well, that's too much gap, but. If you don't know how to brush your duck blind, that may be what you say, but you shouldn't rely on this gap being so little where you have to squeeze up through it and be banging your head on this and scraping your chest on this. You want a nice gap here for when you stand up off of your seat and you brush your blind to come up this way and you brush the roof to come out this way. You let your brush meet in the middle. Then you move it out of the way to have a shooting cord in it. And so this, that leaves you a big gap to stand up and turn and swing and move your shoulders through whenever you get up out of the boat to, to shoot. So this is the way to go, to have a big gap and then brush your blind properly. You can't just slap fast grass on this and go. But uh, the guy that ordered that knows this, and if you hunt ducks enough to know that you have to brush your blind properly with something other than just army camo netting or fast grass, you've got to add some brush to it. You've got to tie wrap it and let it come up high this way and you've got to let it come out high this way and it'll meet together and close that gap completely in the middle. Then you just move that brush out of the way to shoot through it wherever your hunters wind up. So he's going to be hunting off of the buck bird and buck seats. You can move them wherever you want. You could hunt four people in this with no problem and you really could fit five in this hole. So um, just wanted to go over this boat with you. It's a really cool boat. On the back deck, another thing to show you back here. He's got two 12 volt plugs, a USB port, and all of his switches here. So he's able to turn on spotlight kits and bilge pumps and courtesy lights, um, all from the driver's cockpit back here. Really cool hull. Just a 1754 GT model with a 36 inch hunt deck and a hard sided blind that really kicks butt. That's a great blind. I, I, I've used it for many, many years, built several of these for people. Check it out if you're looking for something that can be brushed really thick and move it one, brush, brush it one time and move it anywhere you want to hunt and set up and not flare ducks. It's a great setup to do that. <laughs> 